Hey guys. Um, don't mind my messy house. It's kind of my cleaning day. So, um, a couple things. I know I said on here that I would be posting um, about some vet stuff and some animal stuff. There's Franny. Wow. Um, my cat has recently just gone downhill over the past couple of days, not eating, not drinking, um, urinating a lot, so pee a lot, drink a lot, which is um, commonly symptoms of um, CKD, I do believe it's called, so chronic kidney disease or renal disease or renal failure or a kidney infection. We've done a lot of tests over the past couple days. Not sure what it is. He's been super fussy with food, which is funny that he's eating right now because this is probably the first time he's um, eaten in a couple days. He's dropped a lot of weight. He is a little bit of a more overweight cat. Um, he had a lot more muscle mass, but just over the past week, he's dropped all of his muscle mass because I do believe if it is the kidney um, problem that his body is kind of breaking down that muscle um, because there are high amounts of phosphorus um, hi, in his body just because his kidneys aren't working. He seems to really like that wet food right there. Um, good kitty. So I was going to be buying a camera but at this point I've spent over $500 just doing testing and just trying to figure out um, what's wrong with him and what I can do to make him more comfortable. I took him to the vet um, over the long weekend and we did subcutaneous fluids, anti-nausea, a little bit of antibiotics just to see if that would help perk him up. He was super amazing. I brought him home. Um, he was happy, purring, eating, but then he had a huge decline and just that's just because he's um, feeling nauseous and not wanting to eat and <laughs> you're just so handsome looking hello um anyway so um he's been a little bit weak and kind of lethargic and sitting there but right now he is eating he's been in my room just kind of having a little bit of quarantine time to himself just because i have a couple other animals here and i don't want him to be bothered um he hasn't been able to get up on the bed and cuddle or anything he did this morning but it's been a little bit stressful um, yeah, so that's what's been going on. I know you guys, I posted a video saying I would be having a camera by now and have videos up, but, you know, other things have been happening and my animals come first and it's been a little bit stressful and I've been a little upset about it, but I thought I'd just, um, update you guys because, you know, I do want to have vlogs on this channel and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, Badger's three years old. He's fairly young. Um... The thing with cats is when they're sick, they tend to hide their illnesses really, really, really well. So you never really know when something's wrong um, until it's a little bit, not too late, but until to, it's a little too deep. Um, that being said, I have a urine sample from him that I collected and, hi, oh yummy, um, hopefully they can tell me if it is definitely his kidneys, if it is an infection, um, if there's a presence of bacteria, and if no bacteria and there's just high levels of urea in um, his urine and other things like that, then it is kidney disease and we'll go from there with a huge diet change um, and probably sub-Q fluid. Sub-Q just means um, they get an injection just right back here of IV fluid that goes into the nape of their neck because they have um, extra skin there and that's where you can put fluid in a really dehydrated cat um, in order to help them flush out all the bad stuff in their kidneys that their kidneys aren't able to do on their own also because he's not drinking very much um, that helps with his appetite and everything else so um, yeah that's what's been going on it's been kind of a stressful week for me money wise and just in general because this is my baby one of my many babies and yeah um so that's been going on I'll keep you guys updated if you're interested if not I'm still gonna 
be updating just in case anyone else is experiencing anything like this. Um, his symptoms were really sudden. He all of a sudden just, I noticed he wasn't eating. I do have two cats and I free feed um, generally. So I have like two food bowls and then um, wet and dry food for them. I was feeding him a very high protein diet and I gradually changed it over safely um, over two weeks and he seemed fine and he's hungry. Sometimes cats will stop eating and that can cause some problems. Um, good kitty. But he's usually got a pretty good appetite. How is so happy now? Because you have food. Um, I think he likes the smushy food just because it's easier for him to eat and swallow. Um, I am just going to drop a little bit of water in there. Mmm. Yeah, I need know. So, I do put water in his food, wet food, sometimes in the past couple days, just to try to get even more water into him because he is peeing a lot. And, um, yeah. Sorry, I'm rambling. Anyway, that's the last update I think I'll do just for today. So, he's had blood tests done. Um, he has another appointment tomorrow to go in to get some heavy fluids into his neck there just because he is really dehydrated and I want him to be comfortable over the weekend. Um, maybe give him a shot of anti-nausea so that his appetite comes back a little bit better, but it seems to be kind of good today, but yeah. Anyway, thanks you guys and I will chat with you soon and then thank you for watching if you are and if you have any questions or if your cat's going through the same thing, you can leave a comment down below. Thanks. Have a good day you guys.